I've been meaning to do a video about another video about the alt-right. So one of the things I wanted to say is like some where do I stand on the alt-right and how are they different from where I well I consider myself conservative. So I mentioned this actually in my live stream with Tom Vins. Um, he asked me like with all of the similarities how do I you know reconcile that but I don't consider myself alt-right however one of the things that I would caution the alt-right on is I feel like you have the alt-light the alt-right and regular conservatives and even probably the skeptics I feel like there's certain things that all of us want like in the United States I think that all of these four groups, I think we all want the borders closed. And we all want no DACA. So I think we should think about what we agree on instead of looking to our differences. We can be separate groups, but then at the same time, there are certain goals that I think all four of those groups have. So that's something I wanted to emphasize. Um, and... You can't really, you know, even for the alt-right who wants a white ethno state. First thing you have to do, <laughs> thank you Ann Coulter, but <sighs> you gotta turn off the faucet before you start bailing out the bathtub. The bathtub is overflowing. The United States is overflowing. And we have to close the borders before we can do anything. It is absolutely imperative. It has to be done. And... All of our groups have to work together to do it. Now, the alt-light, they don't want to work with the alt-right or other groups because they're too worried about what the left thinks of them. Like, seriously. Hello? This is the left. Do you not understand that? The left. They're not going to be your friends. I understand that, like, that's the thing is maybe if the alt-right tone down all of their talk about you know, the ethno state and stuff. The white advocacy, I think a lot of people can get behind that, but they can't get behind the JQ and the ethno state stuff. So, and another thing I wanted to say, my advice to the alt right actually is if you guys want an ethno state so bad, why don't you pitch in your money together? This is what I think pitch in your money together, buy like one of those like large, find like a really large swatch of land. Watch the land? You know what I mean. Patch of land. Um, that's up for sale. Pool your money. Buy it. Maybe first get a government contract. And try to get the government to allow you to be like a semi-separate nation. Similar to the Indian reservations. But also, I don't think you should expect anyone to give you land. I think that you guys should pitch in together and buy a patch of land make this happen so um yeah that's my advice for you guys and also i think that all of our groups need to work together but i don't think it's i think all i don't think it's just the alt-right that maybe doesn't want to work with other groups the alt-light is also notorious for you know shunning people if you know say they do an interview with someone they consider you know taboo even people who aren't necessarily, who are maybe alt-right, but they're not really talking a lot about all this ethno-state stuff. They're mostly talking about the same things that regular conservatives are talking about. But, you know, once in a while, they mention, like, white advocacy or something. Like, I think James also. I think people have gotten upset because people have talked to James also before. And most of his stuff is either regular conservative stuff or white advocacy. And I actually have no problem with white advocacy. I think it is only fair that if Hispanics get to have lobbying groups and, and advocacy groups, and if blacks get to have advocacy groups and lobbying groups, and Jewish people get to have them, I wholeheartedly think that it is unfair that white people cannot have groups. I mean, I consider myself both white and Jewish, and I know a lot of people consider that a conflict, but I consider myself both. Like, 
I guess, well, I guess for me, maybe Jewish is more of a religion, but, um, but I consider myself both, and maybe it's because I consider myself both that I feel that, you know, that I'm totally okay with interested in white advocacy. I actually would like to see that. And also, let's say I didn't consider myself white. Nevertheless, the left, people who are on the left are generally going to consider me white, even if I were to only consider myself Jewish. So it's in my best interest, if they're going to consider me white, it's in my best interest to also support that. Because that's a group that, even if some people would say I can't be lumped in with that group, the people who are against me, which is the left, the left is going to say that I belong in that group. So actually they already have. I was at a protest at one point. It was mostly Jews, um, Hispanics for Trump or Latinos for Trump and, and Jews. And we went to protest Sarsour and it was led by um, Pamela Geller and Milo Yiannopoulos spoke and we had an ex-Muslim speak and most of the people speaking were non-whites. So, you know, but they were yelling stuff at us. Like, they yelled, <laughs> they kept calling Milo a homophobe, which is crazy. I mean, they were like, yeah, Milo's a racist, homophobe. Um, Milo is married to a black man. Milo is a white man married to a black man. He's even kind of Jewish because his mother's Jewish, but he considers himself Catholic and he practices Catholicism and he's only ethnically half Jewish. So, whatever. He could be, people could call him one or the other, depending on the person. So, I know that Orthodox Jews would not consider him Jewish. Actually, I think his mother's Jewish, so actually they would. But he practices Catholicism. So, he's still at least white, but he's married to a black man. He's gay, and he's married to a black man. And yet, they call him a gay homophobe. I mean, does the left make any sense? The left doesn't make any sense. The left doesn't make any sense. No, they don't. No, they don't. Uh, uh, thanks for stopping by my channel. I will see you all next time.